<laughs> Happy now. Now is the vibrate, of course. Not going too far in the future. Not going too far in the past. Right now. Right now, I want to speak on false evidence appearing real, uh, aka fear. And matter of fact, and how fear can honestly create this ease in the body on all types of levels, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's spiritual dis ease or it's physical, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's non physical or physical, but fear has a lot to do with you know, causing these uh, diseases of the body. And I came across a story, matter of fact, uh, in this book that I got from uh, from the uh, Lake Shrine, the self-realization uh, place in the Pacific Palisades where Paramahansa Yogananda got the little place at. But uh, there's a story about uh, how the ghosts of smallpox you know, it's coming into the town, and a, a certain yogi or the saint, you know, he sees the ghost of the smallpox, and he's like, nah, man, you can't come into this town and, you know, kill people and disrupt the peace and all this. And the, the ghost of smallpox, like, you know, I, I understand you, I hear you, but look, this is part of my karmic ties, you know, matter of fact, like, how, you know, everything, you know, because the smallpox taking something is a rebirth of something else. But anyway, so the smallpox, like, man, that's part of my karmic ties to, you know, it take at least three people, man. And the yoga was like, you know, I, you know, he was kind of like standoffish. He was like, well, you know, all right, only three. And make sure after you take them three people, you know, and you do what you got to do for your karmic ties, you know, you keep it moving. And the ghost of smallpox was like, cool, I got you. So, you know, he come through the town, so they pass. And then uh, the yogi sees that like about 14, 15 people end up, you know, passing away from the smallpox. So he hurry ups and, you know, and catches the uh, smallpox ghost and talk to the ghost. And he like, bro, he's like, man, we had a deal, man. You said you was only going to take three people. But yet, like, 14, 15 people died, you know, more than three people died. And the ghost of uh, smallpox was like, like, dog, all I did take was three people. He was like, those other people died from fear. You know what I'm saying? So basically, he, he touched the people, the three people that he was supposed to, you know, quote, unquote, kill or transition, put on their transition. He did that. But through fear of the dis-ease, so say for instance, when all these other people saw these three people die, it's like, oh man, I might I might have some too. I might, you know, and all of a sudden, they caught it too and end up passing away. You know, so basically, you know, the moral to the story in essence is, you know, the being fear, you know, being fearful or being, uh, having fear of any type of you know, say for instance, disease or anything, you know, attracts it and makes it manifest. You know, that's why we always say what you focus on grows. So if you focus on thinking that, oh man, I might have a disease because these three people died, then guess what? You're gonna end up with that disease because you know, you're making your mind believe it as above, so below. You know, as it goes on in the mind, the body will follow below, you know? But it's about that that fearlessness, you know. Matter of fact, I made the video about how like uh, all diseases, matter of fact, AIDS, all that is fake. And in essence, it's more of a not necessarily that it's fake, which it is fake. But to be real, real technical, it's like uh, say for instance, some disease or virus, say for instance, or bacteria may get in the body. And what may happen is the the way we have disease in the body, and they did studies on this scientifically, is that our body, the cells in our body mimic that one, you know, cell or that one uh, molecule or bacteria, or whatever it is that may be harmful, is the body or the, all the cells in the body mimicking 
that you know and when a cells in one area you start mimicking then it just spread throughout the whole body and then once your mind gets attached to or oh, thought of i'm sick or something wrong then it really you know gets set on but they did these experiments matter of fact they did a uh it was in the military matter of fact i'm gonna have to do a video where i have the dates and all that but they did a, a military experiment where people who had a certain like a uh, almost like post-dramatic type like post-dramatic stress type of uh disorder where people you know their mental could make things happen so say for instance people that's blind but they're not really blind they just their mind was just so strong and making them believe that they you know were blind that they you know lost their eyesight you know and this is recorded also dealing with the situation where the uh the where they, uh, the doctors and uh, scientists discovered that our body mimics disease and not actually our body being taken over by disease, but our body is just mimicking the disease. And along with the placebo effect and other things, you know, in that direction. But the main point is, you know, just dealing with, you know, the fear. By you being fearful, you attract what you're fearing. You know, and I, I, uh, I try to explain this to people when they ask questions about well what about when like uh 9-11 or like nat like a uh, whether it's a natural disaster or disasters where a whole bunch of people you know die or whatever you know what that was they fail how that go and i'm like basically and i just thought of this is like basically it's a bunch of fearful people you know in the wrong place at the wrong time in essence you know but it's just like all those like so say for instance from the oklahoma city bombing with timothy mcveigh if i said that right the oklahoma bombing but you know all these things those people whether it was through their destiny to transition at that time or because they you know were fearful you know fearful people by nature so they attract a situation you know that that you know a disaster or anything that could harm you because they're fearful of that so like when these planes may crash or this and that, that may be just a bunch of, you know, it's a mixture of all this too, because I'm not saying like a black and white situation where just all people that's, you know, in those situations, they all were fearful. Like I say, some people, you know, uh, indirectly, you know, end up in the situation. Because say, for instance, it's situations where, picture where, because your sense is heightened, where you could walk into it. Say, for instance, if I got on a boat, and I just felt like, mm, I'm not feeling the vibe on this boat ride. Let me catch another boat. You know, it could be the vibe that I caught that, you know, all the people on this boat is fearful and it's just a negative vibration. Like something might happen, you know what I'm saying? Let me get off this boat, you know. But, you know, it's that fearful vibration that attracts these situations. So, you know, like the ghost of smallpox, he only took three people, but the other people being fearful of what happened to the three, you know, they end up uh, basically manifesting the dis-ease within their body and end up passing away also. So, you know, just, you know, stay away from from fear-mongering situations. Matter of fact, that's why they always have some type of, uh, what it is, West Nile virus, uh, what it was, Ebola, all these different things, you know, that they fear-monger, with on the news to, you know, scare you into like a, attracting a disease, and so they can make you a customer with Big Pharma, and then when you own Big Pharma, then you become a customer in other places where you know, big you know, you own Big Pharma now you, you your mind all off and stuff. Now you start doing criminal type of behavior. You know what I'm saying? Now you even went to the racketeering circle of the prisons and made, they making money off you like that. And all these people that own these businesses are first cousins, brothers, you know, uh, whether it's Rockefellers, Rothschilds, all that type of stuff. And I don't want to get too deep into that, but you know, just a racketeering circle you'll fall into. But back to the main topic, <laughs> you know, stand fearless, you know. Because when you think about most of the situations that you were fearful of, you were just making up stories in your head. None of that stuff happened, you know. And if and if it was, you know, if if say for instance you was uh, 
fearing something and it did happen, it wasn't necessarily fear, it was more of your intuition warning you that, hey, something bad is gonna happen over here, stay awake. You know, that's a difference, you know, but having that fearful mind frame attracts, you know, what you're fearing and what you focus on grows. So if you're focusing on what you fear, then, you know, then the, the boat gonna sink the airplane gonna crash, the building gonna burn down, whatever the case may be, if you having that, you know, that fearful mind frame about it. But, and two, I like that story because it had like so much with the fearlessness and with how the disease, the smallpox disease was like, hey, I got some karmic duties I gotta take care of, you know what I'm saying? Like, look, Source, Source want me to take care of three people. It's three people that need to transition in this town and Source want me to be the person. Source contracted me to be the person to help them go in the transition. You know, and I all them 14, 15 other people. That's on them, you know, they had a feel for mind frame and, you know, and killed them, killed, basically uh, killed themselves, you know, or transitioned themselves through their own fear, you know. That was pretty cool how that story set that up, but you know, just be fearless. Matter of fact, I'm in Venice. You know, matter of fact, I had to be fearless myself and follow my heart and just, you know, just come out here. You know, kind of like the uh, the story of the alchemist. You know, Mach Two. I just had to go, go to go to the pyramids. You know. Without the, the the brain or the logic having evidence of how it was gonna happen or how it's gonna play out, it's like it's gonna play out the right way. So just just go follow your heart, because if you don't, then you won't even you know won't even see what could happen if you don't. So definitely peace, happy now. Now is the vibrate, of course. Not going too far in the future. Not going too far in the past. Right now. Peace.